three years ago, I set out to construct the most powerful nootropic stack for focus, motivation, and sheer cognitive horsepower. I logged hundreds of hours, sampled endless amounts of cognitive performance chemicals, and ran beta tests with soldiers from the United States Army. And after massive experimentation and ruthless trial and error, my work had finally paid off. I found what I was looking for. Boom, a serious nootropic stack for serious people. You gotta get a bottle of Cortex. If you haven't tried it, I know what you're waiting for. You gotta get a bottle of Cortex. Everybody loves it. A um, professional poker player, who I didn't know was a poker player, you know, I, he's bought several bottles over the course of the last month, few months, emailed me and said, people at, I just dropped the Cortex bottle. People at the poker table know I'm on smart drugs. <laughs> they look at me and they look at one guy was like, are you on like Modafinil or Adderall or something? And he didn't, he didn't tell them what they were on, but yeah, he's taking Cortex and he's amped. Um, he emailed me and said it was cool, he was doing great, and I looked at his name and he bought several bottles over the course of the last few months. So buy a bottle of Cortex, support the broadcast, you'll love it, one of the best natural stacks out there. I'm serious, you guys gotta try it. Um, but on the line of nootropics, you know, uh, and why we use nootropics, this is becoming increasingly prevalent in my mind, and this is something that I, I wanna help people to maybe not feel so bad about and to understand, and maybe for me to validate your thinking. One of the reasons we all take nootropics, one of the reasons I think people are out there chugging five hour energy drinks or drinking three, four cups of coffee a day or whatever is because, yeah, I mean, yeah, sure, they didn't sleep well, but a lot of it is because toxins in the environment, bacteria that, you know, you overgrow in your gut, which is very, very prevalent these days, and, you know, because the antibiotics go and whack all the, you know, beneficial species of bacteria and then like candida and all these other pathogenic yeast and bacteria overgrow and give you all these digestive issues with it, which end up fussing with your mitochondria and give you, you know, chronic fatigue syndrome and all these different things. Um, and then toxins, like we want to preserve the shelf life of some vanilla wafers for 30 fucking days. So we put this shit in it that preserves the shelf life and then you eat it and your body, it's foreign to your body, you don't know what to do with it, you know, your liver can handle it, it's, but it works on overdrive because there's it's that and stuff in your water and stuff in the air and stuff in your cleaning supplies, right? And everything else, it's not It's not like I'm being a conspiracy theorist, this is, what, this is the modern world we live in. And your liver's having to constantly detoxify from this stuff and you're being invaded by viruses and invaded by bacteria and doctors are always giving you antibiotics to kill a cold that you can kill with like echinacea or something. You know what I mean? Or, or, or olive leaf extract or oregano oil or, or, or something and it's whacking your gut bacteria and you end up being sick because of it, then your brain doesn't work well. You know, that's why people are taking nootropics. I mean, you know, it's one of the reasons, yeah, we want to perform better, but, but, but that's it. And I think I just want to make people feel better like, yes, I'm subject to it too. I mean, there's no question about it. I'm subject to viruses and bacteria. I've had both of those issues with both of those in the course of the last four years. Uh, environmental toxins, other things, it fusses with my sleep. You know, I've had some mitochondrial dysfunction, I believe. And it's all from these things that I'm talking about. And I use nootropics to actually get my brain to work better in baseline. Look, look, look at me now. Like, I just feel like myself, you know what I mean? I'm always working on, you know, feeling better. But I took the Cortex stack earlier today, right when I woke up this morning, and I, I you know, I've just been functioning good all day because my brain's working well because I'm not being bombarded by all this crap. I take N-acetylcysteine to help produce glutathione, to help my liver detoxify, and all the rest of that stuff. So I think, first of all, don't, I mean, we talked about not feeling bad about taking nootropics. Here's why people take nootropics. But really, I mean, I just wanted to make the point. We, a lot of us, a lot of people do take nootropics, and this is why people are always reaching for coffee, reaching for five hour energy. It's not because they're just jerks and they're unmotivated and, or, and then they didn't sleep well and whatever. It's because all this stuff is happening, all the crap in our medication, all the crap in our food, and all the crap in our water, and, and, and all the crap in the environment is forcing us to try to detoxify a lot faster. There's no question about it. It's making us jacked up, right? It's fussing with our gut bacteria, and this stuff is starting to mess with our brain mitochondria, our cell, brain cell mitochondria, you know, neuronal functioning, and all this other crap. So we're like left with uh, subpar brain performance. How the hell do we fix it? You know, grab some coffee, get a nootropic, do this, do that. And that is what it is. I mean, I'm like victim to this too. I mean, I get whacked from uh, everything. And I mean, it just, it is what it is. That's what I've noticed more and more these days. You know, that why why can't, you know, I always function super good all the time? It's because there's stuff out here, everywhere, everywhere. And I just wanted to make that clear. That's all I got. Thanks for watching.